Are you ready to step back 2,000 years into Roman history and lifestyle? Come with me to see a real Roman bathhouse located in the appropriately named city Bath in England. We are now in the Abbey Churchyard in front of the entrance to the Roman bathhouse. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon in May, and lots of people are enjoying the all-too-rare sunshine and warmth in the UK today. Before going inside the baths, we couldn't resist stopping in the elegant square grill and piano bar restaurant for lunch, where we had a great meal and could easily people watch from our table. The atmosphere is relaxed and just lovely. The church you see here is the famous Bath Abbey, built in Gothic Revival style architecture. There was no line or wait time to get inside the amazing Victorian style reception hall of the Roman Baths. Here you can pick up your audio guide, which looks like a phone and teaches you about the history of the Romans as you stroll around throughout the complex. The Roman bathhouse was only discovered in the late 19th century and was an important gathering place for the town of Aque Sulis, the Roman name for the town that is now called Bath. The bottom level also has a museum with many artifacts recovered from the complex, which we are about to walk through. This is the pool where 1,170,000 liters of water per day still comes bubbling up from a geological fault at 46 degrees Celsius or 115 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is the little canal they constructed to channel the water into the Great Bath or the main pool you see here. Once inside, we have a look at this model, which shows you the entire bathhouse complex, including a temple that held the statue of the goddess Sulis Minerva. This is a recreation of the ominous Gorgon's head, and here's a map of the Roman Empire, where you can see its vast reach at that time. Now we're in the temple courtyard, where Roman worshippers would pray to the goddess Sulis Minerva. There are many altar stones and inscriptions here. This is the place where the Romans made sacrifices at the great altar. Most of what you see has been preserved very well and shows the extent of Roman technology. And here's the overflow pool where the water is rooted to then flow out to the river Avon. Here is the drain leading to the river with manholes constructed large enough for people to stand in it and make repairs when needed. This is the sauna and the immersion pool and then the swimming pool and finally the spa water fountain containing 43 different minerals. Back outside to the great bath for one last glimpse of what life was like in Roman times. Actors portray how people lived and spent their time back then. We just loved our visit to the Roman baths and really felt like we got a good taste of history. We marveled at how still today people love the concept of a giant spa and bathhouse to go and relax in. Well, now we know we have to thank the Romans for that. Last but not least, we take a view of festivities going on in the city of Bath today, including a university graduation. And then finally, before setting back out on the road, we got one nice view of the River Avon. Highly recommend a trip to Bath the next time you're in the UK. Bye for now.